Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Miguel, and if you're new here, please feel free to check out all of the portrait time-lapse videos on this channel, and also check out all the art challenges. So today, I'm going to review one of my favorite portraits that I've done. It's Elon Omar, and today I will be reviewing all the different distinct features and the things that stood out to me uh, as a portrait. So let's get to it. So what I can tell you right now is that her face has a very triangular shape. So it's really important to figure out, you know, what what prominent shape that a person's face uh, contains. And that way you can be better prepared when you're approaching from start to finish. So here I really paid attention to the face and head shape first before uh, drawing the thing on her head, the hijab I believe, or some kind of turban, um, something cultural. So here, because she has a slightly darker skin tone than some of the portraits that I've done, I try to capture a very major color tone, and here it's like sort of orange-brown, a bit on the red spectrum. So I get all of those skin tones and blending done first before going to the deeper specific features, which is the outline and the lip color, the eyes, the eyebrows. Um, so here I got all the highlights down. Before going in with black, uh, I decided to choose black specifically with her outline because it helps accentuate the rest of her features. That's something you just have to do. It's a judgment call. Uh, I actually love using black. So here we have the complete portrait of Elon Omar. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so again, key things to remember is to decide what shape of the person's face should be before approaching. That way you won't be all over the place. Uh, figure out the skin color tone. Uh, I know that uh, if, if you're not too familiar with the different skin color tones, uh, study up on that a bit. So with Ilan Omar, she's one of my favorite kind of people to draw because she has a very distinct face um, and it, pres it makes it both fun and challenging when you learn to diversify the different type of faces and people that you draw. So anyway, I hope you enjoy that. Please feel free to share, like, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Check out the other time-lapse portrait videos on this channel, and I'll see you next time.